So, um, Vox, I mean, it's, it's a very appropriate question. I think it's a, a question that a lot of people faced. How do you look after yourself um, when a partner is vulnerable or needing a lot of attention and care and time and support? And uh, that is a question which is, um, I'll answer it, uh, I'll answer it first in this way. Um, you know, the thing of, um, um, I mean, if you're feeling well and you've got an amazing capacity to give, then it's not really a question to ask because you've got the resources. You're feeling spiritually well, spiritually connected. You're not going into resentment and fear and feeling spiritually disconnected. And you've got the time. When you're spiritually connected, you have got effortless, effortless capacity to look after others without any diminution, any uh, loss to your spiritual connection because it's more like you're in a you're enveloped by a sea of bliss and you're able to give without it drawing on personal reserves. So you're connected to the infinite. So in that case, it's not really a question that would be asked, but it does become more uh, a, a topical question when one is feeling that the supporting another is, is uh, taking from oneself, either taking from one's physic physical, energetic or spiritual connection uh, uh, so it's one's reserves are being depleted. Uh, and then comes, so the question then, you know, I mean, in 12 steps, it would be like, well, what's God's will? And I think God's will is is different in different contexts. I do really think, um, you know, what's God's will? I mean, what if I'm in a relationship with someone who's sacrificed for me for 10 years when I've been in trouble and and now they're in trouble? Do I now sort of like, how much do I sort of give up of myself to be there for them now that they're in trouble? And I think, you know, there is, I mean, I do believe uh, just on a more uh, local level, there is a, there is a, a spiritual um, thing of karma. So I think there is kind of a karmic load, you know, sometimes people are, are in our lives to, for spiritual lessons. And if we don't uh, treat them appropriately, the spiritual lesson isn't learnt. So sometimes um, one can be, uh, it's hard to say for each individual, but you know, I might have been in a past lifetime, I might have had the same relationship with the person I'm having a relationship with now. And it's like, I've been, I've been in a mess, a mental mess for most of the time in the relationship and they had to take care of me. And now they're in a mess in this lifetime. And now it feels like I, I, can't, I can't give to them. So then it might be the lesson might be in that situation if that through prayer and meditation it's or intuition it seems yeah you know uh, I'm going to have to uh, get you could say the right balance or pray and meditate for God's will on how much I should be there for them because it's the right thing to do. I do think you know like let's take um, spiritual people who've sacrificed their lives and uh, even their lives which is more than your energy and your reserves and your spiritual connection. To do God's will, I think. Um, I mean, many people come to mind. I mean, I think Jesus. Um, you know, I think Jesus was put in a point of view where should he do God's will and stand up for the truth, or he could be let off the hook and say that everything he taught was wasn't correct, and then he get his life. And then you come. Well, in that thing, God's will would be to sacrifice your life for the truth, even if, because that would be the right thing to do. So I think, you know, so, so there is certain contexts where it's the right thing to do, you know, and it's discerning in your particular situation. Um, you know, I mean, I like what Hawkins says, Dr. Hawkins, you know, the right answer is whatever serves the highest good for all people concerned in the situation. So let's say I've got a partner and now they're in need of me, but if I let my physical health and my spiritual connection go, uh, to support them, but other people, you know, several people are going to be, and myself, uh, are now going to be disadvantaged. And also my mission in life that God would have me do is going to be ruined because it won't be able to be executed because I'll sacrifice myself too much. So God's will is always in the interest of the highest good for all concerned. So sometimes, I mean, some people ha are codependent. And so they start to feel extremely guilty unless they're sacrificing all the time, which is can be out of context to God's will, out of context of 
what's in the interests of the highest good that God would, you know, God's will would be always in alignment with what's in the interest of the highest good. So uh, sometimes when you sacrifice yourself, um, your, I mean, addiction, I was an addict, is always making decisions based on the short term with negative long-term consequences. You're not able to think of the long-term. It's like, shall I eat a donut now? Because that, that would be the most happy experience. But there's an amnesia about what's gonna to happen to me after I've eaten a bag of donuts. So it's not really in the interest of the highest good for my life to be eating so many donuts that it kills me. Um, and also sometimes if you're codependent or the lesson is to not help. So sometimes in a relationship, the lesson is to not to help so that you can't be more helpful to them in a way because you're looking after yourself in certain situations. And sometimes the lesson is to help and sometimes even to help, even if it's at a bit of a cost to yourself. Uh, because it's the right thing to do. It's God's will for you to do in the situation. Uh, generally speaking, I think, um, in like if someone's in, in their early spiritual recovery and hasn't got met much spiritual reserves contextually, like when I help people and they're in their early days and they haven't got much of a spiritual connection going or anything going, then usually it's like, forget everyone else. You've got to first develop a spiritual connection yourself. You haven't got enough to give anyone and you're going to be useless in the world until you get a spiritual connection so you can't help others i'll say to them you just have to work on yourself build your, your physical health and your spiritual connection up before you can give but sometimes for people who are now spiritually well and physically well you know the lesson might be different it's like life gives you a different lesson now it's like now lessons might be um to sacrifice um, now that you've got physical health and well and the spiritual connection now it might be to sacrifice even if it means a bit, a bit of difficulty in the short term uh, good prayers are you know uh, praying for knowledge of god's will and the power to carry that out uh, praying for spiritual intuition and discernment and guidance in what's the right thing to do or how much to give and how much not to give and how much to look after oneself uh, pray and meditate and see what's coming to you um, the um, in terms of um, but generally you know if you have got it to give and someone's in need and it's not going to have a cost then it's a no-brainer because you know to be uh, an instrument of love in this world you know one would give if one can uh, it just means you know are you sacrificing yourself or would sacrificing for one individual mean that it would be a sacrifice and not in the interest of the highest good for all to be concerned. So I'm going to stop.